Hi, Karen. Hi, Mr. Wizard. Hey, that's a neat new bike you got there. Oh, thanks. When'd you get it? I got it in March. Oh, nice present from somebody, I assume. Not really a present. I had to pay half of it. Oh, well, congratulations. Very nice. I see it's a 10-speed. Yeah, it is. What uh, gear were you in? I was riding in fifth. You know what that means, fifth gear? No. <laughs> well, let's come on over to my workshop and let's have some fun investigating various kinds of gears. Okay. Okay, now these are the gears that are sort of on your bicycle. This big one represents the gears that are by the pedal. Okay. And you have two big ones like this, don't you? Yeah. Then this one represents the gears that are on the back wheel. And you have five. Yeah. Five times two, ten. Ten speed. Okay. Now turn this wheel once by watching that mark, and then count the number of times this one goes around. Okay. One. Goes around twice. Twice, right. Now these numbers here represent the number of teeth. This one has 30, that one has 15. Oh. So now I have a very difficult mathematical problem for you. I'd like you to divide thir uh, 30 by 15. So would you write it up here? Okay. Equals what? Two. Right. And notice that that's what happened when you ran, went around here. Went around, this went around twice. So you can figure out the gear ratio by simply counting the number of times one wheel goes around and checking the number of times the other wheel goes around. Oh, okay. Now, if you had this, uh, this set up on your bicycle, uh, would you go faster or slower than if these were both the same size? You would go faster. Faster. In other words, it'll go around twice, right? For every yeah. pump of the pedal. Okay. That was a simple one. Now comes a little more difficult one. Because you change gears, don't you? Yeah. On your bike, okay? So we're changing gears too. Here's the zero mark. And here is another gear. There's the zero mark. Now, count the number of times this one goes around while I turn that one once. One. And something. Yeah, about three. And you, know, you know how to find what we did before? Yeah. We divided 30 by 15. Now, what do we have to divide by? Divide 30 by 22. Okay, at least write down the formula. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, now to make it easy, here's a calculator. Oh, you good. know how to use it, all right? Yeah. Okay. 30. Divided by 22 equals, what is it? I think I have the wrong answer. Why? What does it say? One decimal 3636, three, six, no, yeah, 3636, three, six, Why is that three, the wrong six, answer? Three. I don't know. Yeah, it don't you believe big. the calculator? I guess. Write it down. Let's, 1.36, yeah, over here. Yeah, oh, okay. Three, six. <laughs> and if we had more paper, you could keep going. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> That's enough. 1.36 is good enough. Now, let's start and do this one again, and you watch. And you see whether your answer is correct or not. Get the two zeros together. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn this once. You count this. Watch. There's what? One. Uh-huh. Yeah, three and a six. One point three six, right? Yeah. Okay. So that means that if you if you change the gears on the back end of your bicycle in the rear wheel and you put this gear instead of the other one, would you go faster or slower? You'd go slower. Slower and you'd have more power. Yeah. So that's why you change the gears on the back end of your bicycle to change the speed with which the back wheel goes around. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, well now let's go out and try it with an actual bicycle. Okay. We'll do the same sort of thing. Okay, Karen, I think we've got it set on one of the nice gears there. And we've got the wheel divided up into ten equal parts, right? Yeah. So I'm going to go around once with the pedal. I'll start the pedal right there opposite that red strut. You move the back wheel so that you get zero right opposite the chain. Okay, there we are. Okay, I'm going to go around once with the pedal now. You count the number of times the wheel goes around. Here we go. Point one, and point two, point three, point four, point five, point six, 
there's 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and 1. Then there's 0 0.1 again, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and 2. And then there's 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.4, no. 2. 2.44. 4. Yeah. Okay. Now let's change gear ratios. Go to this one. Okay. Do the same thing. You ready? Yeah. Okay. I've got mine set. No, you can't go backwards like no. that. You've got to go all the way around. Okay. Here we okay. go. Point 0.1 and point 0.2, point 0.3, point 0.4, point 0.5, point 0.6, point 0.7, point 0.8, point 0.9. There's one rotation. Point one, point two, point three, point four, point almost point five. One point four nine. Four nine. Okay. Yeah. So this is the back wheels going around slower this time, right? Yeah. Okay. Why would you want to change gears like that now? Well, so you can get either more power or more speed. Right, one or the other. And in a ten speed bike you have ten choices. Yeah. And if you wanted to, you could check out the gear ratio of all ten speeds.